Hi, I'm Alora. And I'm Stella. And welcome to Let's, Let's Talk, Talk About Soaps. Today we have a special show in remembrance of one of our beloved soap family members from General Hospital, John Ingalls, yes. better known as Edward Quartermain. Yes. He played that character for many years on General Hospital, and he passed away on September 16th, 2012, this year. And mm -hmm. Let's Talk About Soaps, along with Boycott ABC7, mm -hmm. uh, want to pay tribute. Yeah. So we're paying tribute to one of the beloved soap families mm -hmm. that has passed on. So I, uh, I have a tribute from Boycott ABC7 that mm -hmm. I'm, I want, want to read, and it's a heartfelt uh, tribute to him. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is from Boycott ABC7, Yvonne Fernandez, um, Denise Quinones, and it goes like this. Um, in memory of the late John Ingalls, when John Ingalls took the role of Edward Quarterbane over in 1993, he made an everlasting impression on us and all his longtime fans. He truly became Edward Quartermain. Edward, knowing that he could drink an antidote that would save his life during an epidemic caused by Jerry Jacks, he chose to give the antidote to Emma Drake, Robin Scorpio Drake's daughter, to save the beautiful young toddler's life. Edward was a true hero. Tracy summarized his life perfectly in that episode on September 11, 2012. That was the last day all his fans would see him. Both Yvonne and Denise shed tears along with the millions during this heartbreaking, bittersweet episode. So we will say our final farewell to Edward Quartermain, as we feel he can never be replaced. And God bless you, John Engel. You are now with your wife, Grace Lynn, in heaven. And Edward is now with Lila. Denise, Yvonne, and Team Boycott ABC7, and all your fans will always love you. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful, yeah. right? Yes, yes. yes he's going to be greatly missed. Yeah. Now, you're a longtime fan of General Hospital, so you mm -hmm. are intimately uh, connected with the Quartermains. Mm -hmm. yes. Describe the character of Edward Quartermain and his family what oh. what was what was his relationship with them uh, with the town at large well Give general me hospital a... the quarter mains they was a wealthy family of course and they was very dysfunctional oh my goodness it's, uh, they couldn't get along with, with each other um there's like on thanksgiving so much drama was going in that house the turkeys on the floor <laughs> they'll wind up eating pizza every, every Thanksgiving. Every Thanksgiving. Yes, the holidays is just up the hook. It's crazy. But um, he was a strict person. He didn't play. He was the mean one of the family. And his wife, Delilah, oh, she was a sweetheart. Delilah, okay. Yeah, she, was the, she was the backbone of the family. She kept the family together. Everybody loves her. Loved her. She's, she's also going to be greatly missed. And, Lila. Yes. So how did she keep uh, the character uh, Edward Quartermain in check over the years? How did she handle him? I don't know. Like they say, opposites attract. I mean, he was the bad cop. She was a good cop. They just, just got along. and they, Whatever she said, she stood to it, and he would listen. Oh, okay. Yes, he would, he would listen to her. He loved her. They've been together for many, many years. But they made a beautiful couple. Yeah. And on the show, how many... Uh, Children did the quarter main tab. Oh, uh, let me see. Ooh, it was Tracy. Was it a Tracy and the brother? I think so. I can remember. Was it another? Was it another child? I think it was just them two. And then they had children, grandchildren, of course. Um, his son passed away too, also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's, it's a, cra a crazy family. But, crazy. Uh, yes. You know, so he's gonna be missed because he was like one of the strongest characters on 
General Hospital. General Hospital. Yeah, yeah. Now, John Engel, who plays, um, who played him, he uh, was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, and then he uh, went to school in Los Angeles, high school in Los Angeles, and then mm -hmm. college in Los Angeles. And he is a, he was a retired school teacher. Wow. So I, from the information that I have here, I sense that he started his acting career after he retired from the school wow. system in California. Wow, that's so good that, to know. Yeah, that's a very good to know. <laughs> wow. Wow. So uh, he he had a career after teaching. That That's wow. interesting to me. Wow. Yeah. So that's Tell me what else about the character. Do you remember any particular episode with Edward Quatermain that sticks in your head uh, that epitomizes John uh, Edward Quatermain to you? Oh, well, he always hated Sonny, the mobster, because okay. um, his grandson was a part, you know, Sonny's mob, because when he lost his memory, he never came back. He never considered himself as a quarter man. He's like, just mm. own a family, really. He, and so he never agreed with him being a mob. You know, he had bigger dreams because they're a successful, wealthy family. You know, he wanted to be like maybe son, a business within the family, mm -hmm. but that never happened. So that kind of hurt him. But eventually, I think he got a little over that, but yeah, okay, that so, really bothered him. So he bumped heads with Sonny Oh, Mark. yeah. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know, once you start bumping heads with him, he's like very conniving and, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, he'll do little devious things to you. That's Edward, yeah. That's Edward. Mm -hmm. So Thank did you. he ever get underneath Sonny's skin where he, uh, where they had to bump, go head to head? head, to head? Well, I guess Sonny kind of, you know, had respect for him because he's being he's an elderly person. But, you know, Sonny really stayed out of his way. It was mostly him coming after Sunday. Sonny stayed mostly out of his way. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's you know, good. For the sake of Jason, too, you know. Wow. Yeah. But he's going to be greatly, greatly missed. Wow. He played a huge role in General Hospital and been on there for many years. Wow. Yeah. And it's so funny how you say he started late in life and yeah. happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. So he came into the role... Uh, it says here that he came into the role, I think it was in 1993. And he yeah. actually received, um, he actually received an award for outstanding, check this out, outstanding scene stealer at the Soap Opera Awards in wow. 1999. Wow. So his acting uh, uh, must have been superb yeah. mm -hmm. if he could steal a scene from yeah, someone yeah, else. That's good. <laughs> it was good. And that, but he, um, start, he started off in the soap world as Edward Quartermain, but then he left and he played a, uh, the role uh, on uh, Days of Our Lives of Nikki Horton. Mickey Horton, okay. okay, and then he returned back to Days of Our Lives in 2006. And uh, so he left General Hospital as Edward Quartermain for a little bit. Okay. And then he comes back, played uh, Mickey Horton on Days of Our Lives, and Jed Allen uh, had played him for a while, played Edward Quartermain for a okay. while, and then he comes back in 2005. Wow. Uh, no, he came, he came back in 2006. Six, right. Okay. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it was a sad day. Mm -hmm. Wow, I couldn't believe it. But they said his wife had recently died in real life, like, what, eight months before? Yeah, before him. All right, so some people die of broken hearts. Right yeah. behind. Oh. Sweet, wow. But it's going to be greatly missed. Yes. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, Laura, you have your own particular memories of Edward Quartermain. I'm mm -hmm. sure that there are a lot of soap fans of General Hospital mm -hmm. that can recount uh, their memories of the character on General Hospital. So this uh, YouTube, vi this video will be up on YouTube, mm -hmm. and we're hoping that as a tribute to uh, John Engels, who played uh, Edward Quartermain, that viewers of the clip will leave comments as a tribute on the YouTube site, Let's Talk About Soaps, mm -hmm. so that it, could, uh, it can honor a, one of the beloved soap 
characters in the soap world. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. Yeah. Yes, that would be great mm -hmm. to add to what you remember about Edward Quartermain. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you, we're going to end. Let's talk about soaps and this uh, with this tribute to Edward Quartermain with you singing a particular song. And why? Mm -hmm. What is the name of the song? And why this song? Alora. Just like ABC boycott, sit at the end of their letter, they will always love him. I figured this song would be the perfect song. Such a coincidence. Whitney Houston, I will always love you. Because the soap fans will always love Edward Quartermain. And he's going to be greatly missed. So that's the song I chose. Yeah. This song is dedicated to Edward and Lila Quartermain from General Hospital, from all the soap fans, and from us here at Let's Talk About Soaps and Boycott ABC 7. If I should stay, I would on, only be in your way. So I'll go, but I know. I'll think of you every step of the way And I will always love you
Whoa, uh, Alora. Alora, that was a beautiful Thank rendition you. of I Will Always Love You. And I think mm -hmm. that's very appropriate for this tribute mm -hmm. to John Ingalls, who played mm -hmm. uh, Edward Quartermain on General Hospital for so many years. Yes. He's a great actor. He's going to be missed. Yeah. Yes, he is going to be mm -hmm. missed. And this tribute is from, let's talk about soaps, and Boycott ABC7. And there's the hope that anyone who sees this and is a General Hospital uh, fan mm -hmm. uh, and who also uh, held the, uh, Ed Edward Quartermain close and dear to their hearts, yes. that they would post their Bell. memories mm -hmm. or helpful, heartfelt sympathy for uh, John Engel's family, or just for the Soap family yes. uh, uh, um, with the General Hospital. Please mm -hmm. post your comments yes. on the YouTube channel, Let's Talk About Soaps. Mm -hmm. And this way it can reach the family of John Engel. Mm -hmm. And also General Hospital itself, because like I know, Delilah and Edwards, We'll still be looking over General Hospital, so y'all keep on doing what y'all do. Keep up the good work, okay? And we love you, all of you guys at General Hospital, okay? And so that's it. Until we meet again on Let's Talk About Subs. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Talk about it.